if I don't share it, did it really happen? <laughs> Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome to my first vlog of 2021. It's currently 9.30 a.m. and I am just doing a little bit of digital hand lettering practice. I told you guys one of my goals for this year was to learn digital hand lettering and it's quite a process but I'm having a lot of fun practicing and I can already feel myself starting to memorize the letters. Anyways, today is the day we get back to our fitness goals. So I am in my yoga outfit right now. So we got my yoga flip flops and these are the Lululemon Wonder Under Super High Rise in this really cute like camo print. And then I'm wearing the matching energy bra. And then this crop tank is from Altered State. I am so excited to get back to yoga, you guys. I just parked and I am so pumped for this. I've got my water my yoga mat. I am ready for this. Watch out 2021. Here comes Melissa. I wasn't even going to do the 10 a.m. but I want to ease my way back into this. There was a 6 p.m. class today I was originally planning on taking because it's like my favorite yoga instructor but the issue is it was a vinyasa power and I didn't want to literally kill myself my first time getting back into it. So I'm doing a vinyasa slow, which is still gonna be challenging, but it's just at a slower pace so that way I can kind of get back into the moves and everything. So I'm really excited. I got to like pick my spot ahead of time on the app because they're keeping everyone um, like spread out throughout the room. So let's do this. Officially finished my first yoga class of the year. Cheers to that. That was actually so hard. And I'm really glad that I didn't decide to do the vinyasa power just starting out because that was still challenging enough for me. But I'm so glad I went. It felt so good to get back into it. I'm back home now and I thought I would show you guys what I am going to put in my smoothie. So I'm just going to put peaches, mango chunks, spinach, a banana, and then some of this vanilla almond milk. And that's it. I'm not even going to add protein. I don't really want to add protein to it. I am also going to make one of these English muffins to go with it. I haven't had an English muffin in so long and I told Chad to get them when he went to the store yesterday. And I'm glad I did because they're so good and I'm drinking a green smoothie and I just shared it on my Instagram story because if I don't share it, did it really happen? <laughs> so I want to give you guys a little update on Trooper. I know so many of you guys were wondering how he was doing. So if you don't know, on New Year's Eve, I had to take Trooper in for an emergency surgery, which was the scariest thing I have ever been through. I literally cried all night. But the surgery went really well. They had to go into his intestine, his stomach, and get out what was a foreign body. And it ended up being chunks of a toy that we gave him for Christmas that was no different than any other toy we give him. But for whatever reason, he decided to eat this one. So we're going to have to be super careful about which toys we give him. Anyways, they got it out, and he has a bunch of stitches on his belly, and he's still recovering. Clearly, he's very sleepy. The medication that they have him on makes him super tired. But he's doing really well and Stetson is taking good care of him. Like this is like my child and it was so traumatic and scary thinking that something might happen to him. So I'm just so glad he's okay. Mommy loves her baby. It's time for me to feed Trooper and I just have to show you guys how extensive it is caring for a dog after surgery. He's literally got three different medications that he takes and then he also has to have like a cold and a hot compress and then we have to feed him four times a day in small meals. And it is just so much to remember. So I made this little like medication log and cold compress log and food log. So that way Chad and I could keep track of everything because it's a lot to remember. So instead of a what I eat in a day, we're going to do a what Trooper eats in a day video. So his meals have been consisting of a bland diet. So we just do a little bit of rice and Chad made this uh, like a couple of days ago. It's the second time that we made some rice and we just... 
put that on a plate and then heat it up in the microwave. And then once that's heated up, I'm gonna just add in this sensitive stomach uh, wet food for dogs. And we just take like a couple scoops of this and mix it into the rice. And then I put it in his food bowl. I don't think he's due for medicine yet. No, his next medication is later. And then we do have to do a hot compress, but I'll do that in a little bit. So he likes to try and eat this really, really, really fast. So I have to like take it away in a second. Hey, 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 whoop, slow down. Okay, I am showered. I threw a little bit of makeup on and I just threw my hair in a little bun. I was actually gonna curl it and then I thought, why should I even curl it when I'm literally just getting work done right now? So maybe I'll curl it later if I end up shooting some content for somebody. But for now, we're just gonna rock the bun. 22 orders to pack, so let's get that done. First, I'm gonna make a little macchiato. So I just filled up this little glass with some ice and almond milk and then a little bit of half and half. And now I'm going to use this espresso shot, this Diavolito. And this is like a really dark one. Also, yesterday my Nespresso order came in. I ordered some really exciting flavors. We've got vanilla custard pie and caramel cookie. Very excited to try this one. And then hazelino muffin. So these are like the barista creations ones. I'm so pumped to try them. How good does this look? It literally looks like a macchiato from Starbucks and I just ordered some caramel syrup. I don't really like adding sugar into my drinks when I do them iced because I haven't found a syrup that I really like to be honest with you, but I did just order some caramel drizzle on Amazon. So I'll be able to make a caramel macchiato when that comes in. Just finished packing all of your orders. So I've got one giant bin full of USPS and then this whole bag is full of UPS. And I'm actually gonna have Chad take these to the post office for me cause he's running up to Home Depot. So I don't even have to leave the house. How have I managed to eat nearly this entire thing of veggie chips? I mean, I ate some of them like a few days earlier so it wasn't completely full, but it was pretty full. I'm about to have this cold pressed juice. I've been drinking these a lot. And it's so funny because at the beginning of the year last year, I was like really into cold pressed juices too. And then I just kind of like fell off after COVID and now I'm back to loving cold pressed juices. It's a little bit later and we are about to put up my wallpaper finally, you guys. I've been dying to do this since before Christmas. So Chad's making measurements. I'm scared. This is like gonna drastically change the way my office looks and Chad's like, just FYI, if I do this, you're not taking it out. So. Ooh, 
you look sexy with that pencil in your mouth and that level. because wallpaper is so annoying. Just ate some leftovers for dinner and I'm having one of these AHA sparkling waters in blueberry pomegranate. I swear to you, these are my all time favorite brand of sparkling waters. I tried that other one back in the day, the lemon one, and that was my favorite for lemon, but this brand is so good. Blueberry pomegranate and then they have like a strawberry uh, kiwi one, I think. That one's really good too. Anyways, here is the big reveal of my wallpaper. I think it looks really, really good, um, but I don't recommend wallpaper because it was a treacherous time putting it on. And even though on camera it probably looks great, there are some flaws. Like, I mean, I don't know why I'm showing you guys, but like there's a little bit of this going on in some spots, but from a distance you can't really tell. And part of the issue is that my walls in this room are textured. They're not like a flat wall so it definitely made it more difficult but I really love how it turned out I think it looks so good and I was finally able to hang up my picture that I got back during vlogmas at home goods with my sister so I finally put this up and I think it looks so pretty I put my little green plant back up in the corner we got some string lights it's perfect oh my gosh I look so rough right now Okay, I'm gonna end this vlog here. Thank you for watching. Probably gonna vlog tomorrow as well. I don't know, I've just been enjoying getting back to vlogging after taking a little break from it. If you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.